All right, YouTube, it's just been announced today that Harriet Tubman is going to be on the face of the $20 bill. Andrew Jackson is going to be kind of moved to the back of the bus as far as the bill goes. Uh, not necessarily the most popular decision they could make, but there are several things I'd like to say. First is when they were planning to change the $10 bill, that's fucking retarded. Hamilton was the first treasurer secretary. It wouldn't have made any sense. I mean, you know, that's about as intrinsic to our currency as you can imagine. Moving him off of the $10 bill's face wouldn't have made much sense. I actually support this. I know some people will probably say, well, that's you're being PC or something. It's not about that. Think about it this way. Jackson was against the central banking system currently in, in place regarding our money. He wouldn't even want to be on our currency. I, I, there's no other bill that you could put Harriet Tubman on that would be less strange I, I mean uh yeah less strange than the 20. uh you wouldn't want to replace like benjamin franklin <clears throat> or george washington or lincoln or whatever i think a uh, lincoln you can say well he's already on the penny put somebody else there okay you can make that argument but jackson wouldn't even want to be on our currency if you're going to manipulate the bills and who's on it in some way or form that that would be the most sensible bill really to do it with now personally i'm not a big fan of having even really as far as the traditions of the united states the way they were first built i mean back in the 1700s not you know modernity i don't think that any of the people who were first sort of part of our founding would even like the idea of real people being on our money they would want to emblazon lady liberty on it or, or you know goddess columbia or something on it something like that in God We Trust uh, is a contrived modern motto that replaced uh, from one many, e pluribus unum. Uh, that doesn't, I mean, we should replace that again. We should go back to the way it was. Just like with the Pledge of Allegiance, some people have said ban the pledge. I don't say that. I just say under God was never in it to begin with. Originally, people did the Bellamy salute when they were saying the Pledge of Allegiance. They didn't, you know put their uh, hand over their heart that's all 50s era stuff that's all basically post world war ii you know we don't want to be like the nazis it looks a little bit too much like the nazi youth nationalism is evil let's stop this i don't care if they put harriet tubman on the 20 and apparently they're going to put a slew of other major female figures on the back um no problem with, i don't care <clears throat> it's uh like early on i, I think some of the white nationalists which i'm not well, i'm a nationalist and you know nationalist libertarian but not a white nationalist i'd be more like ramsey paul than some of these other figures uh, i think some people forget that a lot of the figures on our early early currency were like indian chiefs and shit like that or make-believe characters pagan figures like goddess columbia you know sort of the patron pagan goddess of the united states or of the american continents in general the new world by the way, New World Order, which people perceive as being on the currency, which it's not, means something totally different. That's a reference to the American hemisphere. It's, it's, an, it's a reference to departing from the ways of Europe with the tired, stupid bureaucracy and corruption and monarchies there, the oligarchies and so forth. We're falling back into that bad habit, but the original purpose of New World Order, literally speaking, was to get away from the European model that didn't work. It strangulated itself, you had high taxes, a lot of bureaucrats who were completely useless, a lot of inbred monarchs and things like that. Yeah, Harriet Tubman's a perfectly acceptable choice for the $20 bill. Anybody, though, any randomly chosen figure within U.S. history would be better than Jackson. I understand Jackson gets a lot of shit because of the Trail of Tears, but ultimately he was a hardcore pirate pairing fucking beat everybody the fuck up sort of man yes he was a real man's man he loved to get drunk he loved to fight he loved duels he like got this thousand pound wheel of cheese at one point and when his wife complained he i guess gave chunks of cheese out to random people he had a sort of a party to get rid of the spoiling cheese because the smell was so atrocious and then the next presence like everything fucking smells like cheese yeah he was a hardcore individual he was a real i would say american hero in many many ways but he wouldn't even want to be on our currency let's respect his legacy and put him on something he would want to let's build some sort of a statue of him in lieu of him being on the twenty dollar bill or something let's give him what he would want because it certainly wouldn't be on central bank issued funny money pieces of paper that he fought against himself 
quite viciously. He wouldn't want to be on them. I don't even know if Tubman would want to be on the $20 bill. I don't know if anybody would really want to be on the kind of inflated funny bunny that we issue today. It's barely even a real currency at this point. The only reason that the dollar has any value <clears throat> is that we happen to have the only military in the face of the earth that can ensure the stability of trade because it has a unique capability to project worldwide. That's why the ruble is not the world's reserve currency and why the yuan will never be the world's reserve currency. When China can put an aircraft carrier into the ocean without it almost immediately having functional problems that risk sinking, then they can be a contender for the world reserve currency. Not until then. The U.S. dollar is going to be the reserve currency for a long time. English is the world's lingua franca and is getting more powerful over time. It's not going to fucking change. I don't care what conspiracy theories people spin. But Jackson wouldn't want to be on our currency. I don't care if Harriet Tubman's black. Oh, goodness, they put not only is it a female, it's a black female. Who fucking cares? Who really cares? You know, the Christians especially, white nationalist Christians, they're even funnier. And I'll tell you why. And I know this may piss some of my subs off, recent subs from like 4chan. Let me explain though. Washington and Franklin and a lot of these other white male individuals were not Christians. They were deists who dabbled in paganism and the occult for the most part. They were openly hostile to the concept of organized religion. They, if, they, if, even, if they even believed in the one monotheistic Christian God, they dragged a bunch of weird mysticism in that today we'd probably class as sorcery. You can read all about it in their own words. Read the Federalist Papers. Read what, the, we read what they said about the concept of churches. Benjamin Franklin was the most hostile of all. Jackson didn't really... Jackson was a bigamist. He didn't have any time for what was then considered proper religiosity. He didn't fucking care. And he sure as hell would not want to be on any of our paper money. Probably wouldn't want to be on anything even related to the fiscal situation of the world today in any capacity. Even a postage stamp, he'd probably say, oh, the cost was inflated. Postage stamp shouldn't cost this fucking much. Why is my face on it? He wasn't into that sort of thing. He, he was more of a rugged, do-it-yourself individual. Didn't like the concept of debt and borrowing and banking the way we have it today. Let his memory be associated with something he would actually support. That's about all.